Hey guys, this is Steel Kid Gaming here, back with another scripting tutorial. And today I'm going to be teaching you about making a low health effect. So you know those games like, for example, Those Remain, or Recoil, or just any FPS game in general, maybe even other genres of games. Whenever you're at like a uh, relatively low health, you your uh, screen starts to kind of blur out. You know, the colors are kind of gone, and yeah. And that's what I'm going to try to teach you about today. Now, in this video, um, this one will be a little bit more complicated. Uh, we are going to be going through some loops, you know, else stuff, a little bit of logic as well. You're also going to need to know, like, the structure of a character. So, you know, when you uh, play the game. Like, when you play the game, you know, you're in workspace. And then this part, you have to pretty much know about this character model when you play the game. Now, now that's all said and done, let's get straight into it. Now, the first thing you'll need is a blur and color correction. Um, this is just so that um, when you can when you enable these, um, they'll actually like blur out, for example. And for color correction, of course, you know, it'll turn it all gray-ish. Now, of course, leave these uh, disabled, so the, so the enabled bool value off, just so that we can activate it in-game later. And so that when you start the game, it's not all the black and white and blurry yet. So yeah, of course, um, if this isn't right for you, you can you know play around with it, you know, do what you want. But once you have your um, desired um, setup, then just turn off the enabled, and yeah, you can start scripting. <laughs> now you can see I have this local script inside over here, um, inside starter character scripts, and the reason for that is because when when you play the game, whatever is inside here goes into the character model, or you know, dynamic steel kit in my exam. Uh, sorry, for my case. Now, humanoid is inside this model, which means that we can reference the health because health is inside humanoid, and humanoid is inside the player, and the script is inside the player as well, which means that we can actually reference the health via this script, pretty much. So, of course, I. Uh, I've typed a few things down just because to, to save time. So, of course, we have the while true do loop and the wait, you know, pretty self explanatory. The wait's here just so it won't time out. So, yeah, um, now that's all said and done, we can actually start. So, inside here, I'm going to just do an if statement really quick. That's humanoid.health is less than equal to 10. Then, alright, so. <laughs> Don't worry, I will explain this, but basically I'm just saying that if the player's health, so script.parent.humanoid, basically, yeah, check the model, sorry, referencing the model, and then we're referencing the humanoid. Now, of course, we're referencing its health, you know, pretty self-explanatory. Of course, if it's less than 10, then, you know, do whatever's inside here. And because we want to um, make it all blurry, we this means that we have to enable blur and also enable color this color correction right here. Um, also, if you um, sorry, if you're wondering how to get it, just right click on lighting, insert object. They're pretty much right here. Now, after this, I'm um, it's pretty self-explanatory, I guess. You can just go game dot lighting dot blur dot enabled equals true, and you do the same with color correction. So I'm going to copy and paste just because it's e easier for me. There we go. Alright, so long story short, this is just activating um, both the blur and color correction. You know, I'm referencing the game, then I'm referencing lighting, referencing blur or color correction. You know, and then, you know, setting it to true, or setting the enabled value to true. So long story short, um, this while true do is basically checking the player if the uh, health is less than 10, and if it is, then of course do the low low health effect. Now you might be wondering, wait, what if they the player heals up, for an example? Let's say, you know, he's down to 10 and then maybe have some sort of bandage that heals him up to maybe 25, as an example. Well then, that's where the else comes in. Let's say else, then you can basically copy and paste this in here and set everything here to false. 
Now, if you're confused here, this um, I'm going to quickly run through it. So, you know, if the person's health is less than 10, then of course, enable this death effect, or sorry, near death effect. But if it's else, which is basically saying, if it's not less than 10, which basically means if the player's, sorry, if the player's health is higher than 10, then you can uh, take out the de um, near death effects. So that's why this else is here. It's saying if, sorry, if the player's health is, n is not less than 10, then do this. And if we run the game right here, oh, unless tool grip, it's all right. <laughs> now, of course, you can see that the death effect doesn't work. And, oh, sorry, um, right now, because my humanoid's health is right now a, a 100. It's not less than 10. But if I put it to, let's say, 9, boom. As you can see, it's all gray, you know. Oh, no, I'm about to die. Ooh, boo-hoo, boo-hoo. <laughs> but, of course, let's say if I bump it up back to 11, then boom, it's all good again. Because, of course, the script is always checking if it's 10 or less or 10 or more. So, yeah, that's... um pretty much all for this video. I know it was pretty short. I hope this was informative in some way. Also, if you want to maybe add some sort of sound effects, like a whirring sound, or some, yeah, sort of ghostly sounds, then of course you can do that as well. Just put it in starter character scripts and reference it from here, you know, play the sound, stop the sound, you know. Everything's pretty self-explanatory. You can pretty much do the rest on your own. <laughs> Of course, if you have any other questions, leave them down in the comments. I'll try to answer them if I can. So yeah, that's all for this video. I guess I'll see you next time. You know, stay safe. COVID's lurking around. <laughs> and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!